All right, some bizarre news, bizarre injury news to a couple key players. We'll get right into that. New hat, by the way. Um, link is in the description. Just buy it. Buy it off of that link. We'll get a little percentage. Um, why wouldn't you buy it? We're going to the Super Bowl, so you'll have a hat to wear as we make our way all the way to the Super Bowl. So um, I find it interesting, I always do, that guys can play a game, and they're like, all right, well, he played the whole game, so see you next week. And it's like, no, they're injured. So... You remember with uh, C.J. Gardner-Johnson, he plays the whole game, and then it's like, oh, he has actually a torn pec, and he's out for the season. And you're like, what? I didn't think that was going to happen. You played. So Panay Sewell and Davenport played all last week, but they have been out of practice all week. So it's like, man, that's bizarre that you guys are – are you is that tough? Like, I just don't get it. And Dan Campbell actually talked about it, and he's like, what happens is your adrenaline's going, you're playing, the tape comes off, swelling starts to happen, and there's really – starts to be problems. Day two, day three, and it's just a bad deal. So let's take a look at it here and, and really what's going on. And it – what you've got is Detroit Lions aren't saying much about Panay Sewell or Marcus Davenport, but two key players. And here's why it's interesting to me is because Marcus Davenport was a surprise for me. Um, huge surprise. Look at Panay Sewell there. What a beast. What's up? Davenport was a surprise, a pleasant surprise. One of the things that I think, and we'll get to Panay Sewell in just a second, but Davenport and Panay Sewell's status, really important. Davenport uh, has a injury history. So it's like, all right, that's going on for him. Second thing, it's like, all right, he, he's got a bull rush and can collapse the pocket. That's all we were hearing. And then you see him out there, and it's like, man, he is big. He's like, the way that I describe it is like he's heavy on the pocket. Um, that's probably the wrong way to say it, but it's like he's he's heavy <laughs> um, on, on other players. Like he pushes the pile. He absolutely bull rush is there. And so it got me really excited, but he's got an injury history. So sure enough, he's got a growing, doesn't seem like he's going to play, um, plain and simple. If I, if I, if you're asking me, it doesn't seem like he's going to play. Panay Sewell played all snaps. He's got an ankle. He thinks he's been saying to the media that he's good and he's just being held out for precautionary reasons. And he is one of those players that's that good where you don't need to practice and he'll be fine. So I think Panay Sewell plays, Marcus Davenport doesn't. Again, the, the bizarreness to it for me is that these guys could finish out the game and and yet not play the next week because they're injured is is interesting. So Panay Sewell, let's go back to it here. He says um he said he's good. He said he's good. I'm getting to it. Um basically he said he was fine. Um that was reported to the free press, so that's good. We'll try to get Williams out there and move in a little bit and see how it goes. They're all progressing there to get a little bit better. It's just a matter of how fast they can heal up and get out there. So, okay, fine. If Davenport is unable to suit up, Campbell is confident in the other options at the defensive line because Reader will be able to make his nose at tackle, freeing up options to kick out wide. Absolutely, that's great. Um, but I was just I was just really pumped about Davenport, I guess, was where I'm at with this. Super pumped. Here's here's where it is. Panay Sewell said that he is good um, and that he's sitting out for precautionary reasons. Awesome. Okay, next thing that I think is really interesting. And, man, one of the things that I think it's like we keep asking where James Houston is. Well, I'll tell you where he's at. He's on the bench because Derek Barnes is really – set up to be what exactly the Lions are looking for. Need a rush end, guy that can play linebacker and guy that can play the pass, but also can, you know, rush the end. So here it is right here. Um, in his 61 defensive snaps, he lined up 21 times as an edge, 28 as an off-ball linebacker, 10 against a pass catcher in the slot, and two over a guard as a stand-up rusher. This is what is a big part of what the Lions want to do, and this is what they have in, in mind for James Houston. But James Houston can't cover, and he doesn't know where he's supposed to be. And it's like reading the tea leaves. No one's like come out and said that, but he doesn't know where he's supposed to be, and he messes up. And all we know that he can rush the passer, and it's like we need you to do more. It's plain and simple, otherwise you're not going to play. So Derek Barnes, of all people, who I've just like kind of ragged on over the – 
not over the years, just kind of, I don't know, thought he would be better earlier, but he's progressed each year. You just cannot deny that. So sweet. He's in there. He's a huge part. That's exactly what we're talking about and exactly what we need. Love seeing that. Um, Oh, yeah, I didn't have it pulled up. Sorry about that. But, yeah, he's – or maybe I did. He, he lined up 21 times as an edge. You can see what he's, he's doing. Barnes is seeing thing, things faster. Mental side of his game has grown so much. And physically, um, he has all the tools. Yes, and that's what we've known about him for real. I mean, physically he's all there, but it's just like, come on, why isn't he playing more? I don't get it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um especially when it comes to the injuries and just where you're at with that. Because, again, good news on the injuries is that the Buccaneers are out there. They're secondary. A lot of main guys in their secondary. I mean, because we think about it. First thing, we take Carlton Davis. They're starting corner. He's gone. Then they've got two safeties and another corner. Two guys are out for sure. Another guy possibly out. So they could have really basically their whole starting lineup from last year is out. Um, that That's good. But. Uh, somebody said, I think it was St. Brown that said it. I learned my lesson with that, meaning you kind of look over there and you're like, I ain't got nobody. Let's go. Well, it was I think it was Thanksgiving last year. Packers were really beat up, banged up with injuries, and they came in and just killed us. So you don't want to, you just don't want to bank on that, but it's nice, right? It's it's really, it's huge. Okay, one other thing too. We, we sign um, a nose tackle to the active roster, Kyle Pico, which is nice because DJ Reader is supposed to come back, but really he's not going to play a ton. Um, you know, he's not going to play every play. He's going to be worked in because remember, he's ha now had two major injuries to his quads, and he was talking about the rehab of that, how basically you have to just lay there. You can't bend your leg. Then you bend it a little bit, a little bit more, and it's just a long rehab process, and he's just – not loving that. So I get it. Um, so let's work him back. Perfect. We want him for the long haul, right? We don't, we don't, we're not screwing around with like this. We need to win now. We do need to win now, of course, but we are planning to be in the mix December and January. And so let's keep him healthy and bring in Kyle Pico. Another thing that I'm so pumped that we did was uh, finally brought in another kicker. Um, Joseph, uh, the guy from he's like formerly with um was it the Packers? Greg Joseph. Um man, love that because I think we've got really a dynamic special teams. We've got the best punter possibly in the league. We've got a kicker that's a ceiling has a ceiling that's crazy, but we just don't know fully what we have. So make sure let me know your thoughts on that one. But so we've got another kicker just in the building. I mean, that was a little weird for a second. We didn't have a kicker. So got a kicker. I think we're good there. I think we're also good. Um, Panay Sewell is going to play. Davenport not. It's unfortunate. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you've watched some videos, a few videos of us by now, I don't know. I don't know what it does, really. Any, It doesn't do anything, but it's kind of nice. Just subscribe if you would. That would be awesome. And we'll see all of you on the next one.